All right, you guys, so I edited and I got up the Vlogtober day three. So that is up. I also made a playlist of all of my Vlogtober vlogs, so you guys should go watch them. Hey, you guys, so um, I wanted to, okay, cool. I wanted to just come on here and end today's vlog by kind of just talking to you guys. So when you guys are watching this, it'll be Wednesday. And I didn't know if I wanted to address this or not. Um, I didn't know how I wanted to address this, but I knew I kind of, kind of knew I wanted to address this because it's a big, it's a big thing right now. So, actually, there's kind of two parts to this. Um, and we're gonna start off with like, um, if you guys are anywhere in the world, then you guys have probably heard about the Las Vegas shooting I guess and I just wanted to let you guys know that my thoughts and prayers are with anybody who was affected by this um I think as a world we need to come together and just not and not um spread hate we should pre we should spread love and positivity so I just don't even know what to say about this but for now, that's all I'm going to say is that we should promote love and positivity. The next thing that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about is the YouTube kind of... I don't know what you would call it, but YouTube... As creators, we spend a lot of time and effort into these... We put a lot of time and effort into these videos and for our, some of our subscribers to not even see these videos is not how I want my channel to be. I think my channel should be where people can go when they, where they, when they need help, when they just want to have fun and have a good time and if you're not seeing my videos, is there really a point? and even uploading them and there's been a couple times where I've been like I'm just gonna stop YouTube as you guys definitely know I take I've taken breaks before in the past but I want to not do that anymore I want to be on my uploading schedule but when YouTube isn't letting some people see our videos or the people that have our notifications turned on they're not even getting notifications that we uploaded it's really disheartening and I think that YouTube is my creative platform. It's where I can be myself, it's where I can express how I feel and just be me. Like if I want to do a vlog about my life, I'll do a vlog about my life. If I want to do makeup on my channel, I can do makeup on my channel. I like having my channel because it's my creative outlet. I can let my creative juices flow when I'm planning videos. I'm planning looks that I want to do like I just let my creative juices flow and it gets bad because when I'm shopping I'm like oh my gosh like I can turn this into a haul and then I want to spend more money because I want to turn the video into a haul and I want to have a good haul for you guys but when YouTube isn't even letting you guys see that it's really disheartening and it's like should I actually film this like who's all gonna see this and especially for a small YouTuber, I think I've said this before, the videos that you pour your heart and your soul into them and edit them perfectly the way you want them to be edited and the way you wish a video were to be edited or like if you were watching this as like a subscriber of someone's channel, um, you would love to see this video. It's very disheartening when those videos get less views than maybe vlogs and I know everybody has their own personal taste and some videos do well better than others it's just gonna happen but it's just very disheartening when you spend hours and hours and sometimes days or even a week on a video and then you spend like half an hour to an hour on another video and it's like it just does better than the one that you spent all that time on and you're like was all that time worth it so, I am not going to stop doing YouTube because it is my creative outlet. It's where I let my creative juices show. And, yeah, 
I am going to let you guys into my personal life a little bit more. There are some things that, like, you know, I still just want to keep private because it is my privacy. Like, I don't want, I don't want, like, my family really doesn't want to be on camera. So, honestly, I just, I respect their wishes. You guys have seen my sister before, but I respect their wishes because I know that if that if the roles were reversed that they would respect my wishes and I think the big thing about people wanting to be on camera and not wanting to be on camera is the internet can be such a hateful place and the judging that goes on on the internet is very there's a lot of judging going on and I think we really need to stop the judging because it makes people not feel good about themselves. Like I'm wearing a cropped sweater and high waisted G, high waisted pants and I would never wear this out because I'm just, I'm scared of being judged and I know we should never be afraid of being judged. I know we should never, I think like we should live our lives for ourselves and not for anybody else but the judgment really gets to you and the hate really gets to you. And that's what I've learned, but like I said, I signed up to put myself on camera, but they didn't sign them sign up for being on camera. So maybe in like a little while, like maybe they'll be comfortable with being on camera. Like I've talked to my mom and further on down the road, we're going to start a vlog channel or like a cooking channel for her because she has really good recipes that, you know, are fun and enjoyable but we just need to as a world come together and it brings back to the Vegas thing we should be spreading love and positivity and not hate because it makes people really not want to do the things that they love doing like I would be lying if I said that I thought about quitting YouTube before because of the fear of being judged if like people at my school found out that I did YouTube it's a fear of being judged that if you do something that people are going to make fun of you and people are going to laugh at you. But you know what? I'm done being scared that people are going to laugh at me or make fun of me because I do YouTube. YouTube is my creative outlet and I love doing it and I don't think I would ever stop. Like, even like... People would be like, people are like, all the time, like, pe I've heard people say, like, in the movies and stuff, don't forget me when you're famous, but it's like, I would, if my channel become became big, I would never, ever forget any of my loyal subscribers who are with me from day one because they were really the people that, the people that watch my videos, my videos every time I upload a new video, the people that watch and engage with me and comment on my videos and like my videos. I mean, I'm not saying you guys have to because I see you guys as views. Like, thank you to all my loyal subscribers who watch my videos and are supportive of me. And yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I love you guys so much. And I hope that wherever you are in life, that you are living your life to the fullest and living your life for you because really that's all that matters. And I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye guys.